Hi, third grade. Today we're looking at lesson 19 in your grammar packet to review how to punctuate dialogue correctly. When characters in a story talk to each other, this is a dialogue. When you write a dialogue, use quotation marks before and after each speaker's words. For example, Mr. Simmons said, comma, quotations. We are going on a field trip and close the quotations after the speaker's words. Another example, hooray, the class shouted. Notice the words that came out of the class's mouths are in quotation marks. When a speaker's words come last in a sentence, use a comma to separate the speaker's words from the rest of the sentence. For example, Myra asked, comma, where are we going? Mr. Simmons answered, comma, we are going to the Natural History Museum. Now let's try to apply those rules by completing the guided practice together down below. The directions at the top say, read each sentence, then rewrite the sentence on the line below, adding quotation marks and commas where needed. The hint on the left says, the end punctuation after a speaker's words should be inside the quotation marks. So look what's correct. It's a dog, isn't it? Notice how the question mark comes inside of the quotation marks. It would be incorrect to write, it's a dog, isn't it? And put the question mark outside of the quotation marks. Do not do that. All right, number one. I am so excited about our trip to the museum, Janie said. Well, all this one needs is some quotation marks. So think, what words are coming out of Janie's mouth? Right, so make sure you put quotation marks before I and after the exclamation mark in museum. Number two, Carlos asked, do you think it will be boring? Okay, now... Remember, when the speaking part comes at the end, it said to use a comma to separate the quote from the rest of the sentence. So Carlos asked, comma, then we need quotation marks. Do you think it will be boring? And remember, close the quotes after the punctuation. Number three, then Justin explained, it's a chance to go someplace new. So what are the words coming out of Justin's mouth? It's a chance to go someplace new, right? Don't forget though, you need a comma after the speech tag. Then Justin explained. So then Justin explained, comma, quotation marks, it's a chance to go someplace new. Close the quotation marks after the period at the end. And lastly, number four, I think we'll have a great time, Tanisha added. Well. Tanisha is saying what words? Right, I think we'll have a great time. So just put your quotation marks before I and after the exclamation mark with time. And that's it. Now you're off to try the independent practice on your own. Good luck.